going on guys it's nick from lively outdoors i am headed out to a local pond today i'm going to try out two new fly rods i picked up from tfo uh, one is an axiom 2x and the other is a lk legacy i have not fished either one of these both of them are in seven weight i've got seven weight floating line on one and i've got seven weight sinking line on the other so I'm going to try to at least catch one fish on each rod and kind of see which one I like best. Uh, the Axiom 2X is actually a uh, uh, extra fast rod and then the uh, uh, LK Legacy is a fast. I know I love the LK Legacy in 5 weight. Uh, I've got one of those and it's phenomenal. Uh, I love the way it casts. Uh, if you don't know much about the TFO fly rods, the BBK was kind of the ultimate in the TFO lineup as far as fly rods back in the day. I, I caught a lot of striper on the six weight and uh, it, it was a very, very smooth casting rod and Lefty Cray, which is, he was an awesome dude. He passed away about four or five years ago. Uh, actually, I guess now about five or six years ago, but uh, he was a rod designer, uh, an article, you know, he wrote a bunch of articles in fly magazines, uh, wrote a bunch of books and all kinds of stuff. He's just a, a fly fishing legend. But uh, this was, the LK Legacy was the last rod he designed. Uh, it's, it's basically, like I say, based off the BBK, which he designed, and then they just kind of put their touches to it. And this was the last one he designed before he passed away. Uh, I love the rod. It's phenomenal. It's actually even just a little bit better than the BBK in my opinion. But anyway, I'm gonna go out here and see if I can't catch at least one fish on each rod. I've still got a sprain wrist, so shooting still out. Uh, besides, it's hot. I mean, it's been like 115, 116 degree heat index each day. Really high dew points. I've kind of felt rough lately anyway, so I'll probably only be out here about an hour, hour and a half. But it's like 7.30 right now, so it's actually pretty cool we had a cool front come in uh not before last and it helped us out a little bit yeah so right now it's actually about 75 so that's awesome pure sun but still 75 gonna be feeling pretty good I, I haven't fished in a little while haven't shot in a little while hadn't done much of anything except just kind of get my personal situations all settled and caught up and things I need to do around the house and, and stuff like that so anyway I'll see you guys on the banks this is rod number one coming up right here I've been wanting a couple good seven weights I had a seven weight that was a sage and it busted I had an orvis it busted this was a couple years ago and uh I'm not that fond of, of eight weights and uh i don't know seven weight just seems like a happy medium you can throw big meaty chunkers like this and like the the larger six dungeon that i got in there and it's not as you know doesn't take as much of a toll as a seven weight does in my opinion uh, because this is actually a five weight reel uh, five and six weight reel because I tend to use the smallest reel that I can get away with using and I fish a lot of pond a lot of ponds and creeks so I don't have to worry a whole lot about uh, too much backing you know uh, a lot of people string up their backing string you know quite a bit on there and I, I don't I, I put about 80 yards on there and so that's to me that's that's enough i'm gonna fish right here in this daggum shade man shoot yeah why not huh. let's get some line out uh oh there's a turtle hope you don't eat my bug get some line out and recording See if we can pick something up on top water here. I 
don't know how good we'll do. There he is. I was going to say, I don't know how good we're going to do on top water today, but right off the bat, looks like a little bluegill. A bluegill ate that big old popper. And that was, that's a big popper, too. Boy, he ain't gulf that dude. Let's get him up here. Number one to fall to the LK Legacy. Look at that chunk, man. That dude just, I mean, that's a big popper. That's a big green sunfish is what that is. Dude, I wanted to get my pliers. Hold on just a second. <laughs> that's your little buddy. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to get it out your mouth. Trying to get it out your mouth. Let's see. There you go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's get you unhooked here. Dang, dude, you took that, man. Took it like a champ. I mean, look at the size of this fly. <laughs> of course, that's a big green sunfish, too. But, I mean, that's what you're, that's what he's, he ate. <laughs> I mean, that's, did not expect. Well, I, I mean, that's a pretty daggum big green sunfish, too, though. I mean, that's, I don't know, that's, that's, that's a big green sunfish. All right, buddy, I'll get you back in. There you go, man. Whew, that felt good. Hadn't done that in a minute. This one's a little different. This is an extra fast rod that I'm fixing for out. It's an Axiom 2X. And I've never fished an extra fast fly rod. I've fished a lot of extra fast traditional rods, but never an extra fast fly rod. So, this is the Axiom 2X. TFO Axiom 2X, seven weight, nine foot, four piece. It's got the full wells grip, just like the other one did. This full wells is a little bit thicker. Uh, the other one's a little bit more contoured and thinner. But we're gonna see if we can, which I mean, I like both to be honest. I've never cast with a thicker full wells like this. But let me tell you, this thing feels good. This feels real good. I'm gonna try this little sex dungeon, see if we can't hook up on something here. Make sure I don't snag a tree behind me. Oh shoot, man. This thing, <laughs> this is gonna be a good rod, I think. See if we can't get something on here. It's got a sink tip on it, so we get down a little bit more than the uh, floating line with a regular six dungeon wood. Boy, he's pissed. He is pissed. That's a good fish right there. That is a good fish. I'll take that any day of the world. Look, guys, I was actually fixing to leave because nothing was biting. I <laughs> couldn't catch crap. This water's so dang warm. It's been so hot for so long. I smacked one on the dungeon. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Got him on both hooks. Let's get you rinsed off a little bit, buddy. Ah. Hold on, man. Hold on, my damn shoot. It's turning into a cup of water. All right. 
That's what I'm talking about. Just to show you how warm this water is. I'm gonna, I got my little fish pond thermometer here. Probably end up like I did before, but. All right, guys, that was fun. I only caught two fish, but it was a giant green sunfish on a big old popper <laughs> on my LK Legacy 7 weight and a pretty decent sized largemouth on my Axiom 2X 7 weight. Just glad to be able to get out, work my wrists a little bit. I've got, I, I think they said four or five ligaments torn in there. I, I don't, it just sucks. I mean, uh, I like to fish, and I like to shoot, and that's, that's about all, really, you know, do for uh, hobbies besides tie flies and talk about guns and mess with guns and stuff like that, but, <coughs> and talk about fishing. But anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. Hope it's cooler where you're at than it is here, because our temperature's here in Arkansas. Whew. See y'all next time.